So this is called crackpot of science. I am never late for work. I use an atomic clock to get up. I let NASA borrow it once. They put it in space. Didn't get it back for a year. When I did, it didn't tell the right time. I thought it was the batteries at first. They told me that it was Einstein's fault. They reset the clock, and I haven't been late since. I developed the IQ positive pressure generator to keep blondes from entering a room. I couldn't get back in to turn it off. <laughs> I've been working on an FTL system that warps space, like bending a piece of paper so the ends touch, cutting out all that unnecessary travel. My mother always told me, space should be folded neatly. Another big hand for David Clank. <laughs> now, if you haven't already gathered, it is humor night, because <laughs> you're wondering what's going on and are confused by some things that have occurred. Um, Jane. <laughs> Jane's brother Dell exclaimed to her, you don't want to call them odd jobs because then people will think you're odd. Call them hand jobs because you do them with your hands, see? <laughs> and this made good sense to Jane. People have been thinking her odd for long enough, she thought. So she painted up her sign and hung it in front of the shack. The sign showed a picture of a smiling, cartoony sun and moon beaming with idiot grins. The sign read, Dare Night, Rain or Shine, Hand Job Jane, Merrickville's Finest Hand Jobs, and in brackets, Ask Anyone. <laughs> Dell, who had a habit of falling asleep drunk on the railroad tracks, died before he could tell Jane he was only kidding. <laughs> Posted rumors about me online Their friends are laughing even louder than before I guess they feel they have to tell me that I'm ugly and I smell And then I guess they have to go and laugh at me some more I've got no contacts on my phone I sit in math class all alone And listen to the giggles and the whispers all around And I can always feel them stare And I don't think it's really fair The way they mock me even if I never make a sound cats come. <laughs> it will all be better when they sweep down from the sky and be my friends and make it clear that I'm the reason that they're here. That's right, run away in fear. It will all come right when the star cats come. <laughs> Give a big warm welcome to Jason Taniguchi. The worst is the Hitler questions. If people aren't pestering me about the loser boyfriend they wasted five years with, you can bet your ass they're pestering me about good old Adolf. Why can't you just kill Hitler? You should go back and kill Hitler. Hey, you know what? If it was me, first thing I'd do, I'd go back and kill Hitler. Wow! With all the resources at the service's disposal, you'd think they could do something about Hitler. 
hey, guess what? I'm a regular person and I've got a 100% brilliant idea that no one has ever come up with in the history of time travel, which is that you should kill Hitler. Blah, blah, Hitler. Blah, blah, Hitler. Blah, blah, Genghis Khan for variety, but really blah, blah, Hitler. Hitler, Hitler, fix my grade point average, then kill Hitler.